All right, we're in the process of replacing the weather stripping that makes the door seal. You can see why this has become necessary because it's corroded and disintegrated behind here. These bubbles will never make a good seal on the door. You see a good example here before I stop working on it of how it's bubbled up and become brittle and it's just pulling out. So what we have to do is replace it. We take it out. I'm in the process of doing that now with a pick. And the advantage is the new weather stripper. Here it has a reinforced backing that's made of a far better material. And rather than wool, this is simply wool. It's now a plastic that's nylon reinforced. The same with this. This is a nylon seal instead of wool. And this is the weather seal I was talking about. They embed with the new weather stripping. It makes a nice watertight seal that'll keep the breeze and the water out. All new stainless steel screws on the top. And the bottom is now bracketed so that the fixed panel will stay in place and not move at an angle. It's also caulked. It's caulked all around the seal of the fixed panel so that there'll be no more wind intrusion. All the tracks on that one have been replaced. This one has new stainless steel screws and rivets in the center. There's new weather stripping all around the door. It's nice and flexible and has that weather seal we talked about earlier. We also went over here and replaced where the wall, the frame was pulling away from the door and had done this damage with stainless steel Tapcon anchors that are three and a quarter inches deep as compared to the old three-quarter screws. The door slides and locks easily.